With the SoundCloud Embed block for WordPress, you could add an album, playlist, or track to your post or page. Embedding SoundCloud content in Gutenberg gives you a lot of options for how the block looks and functions. So to get started, we're gonna to go to SoundCloud and find the track that we want to embed in WordPress. When you find it, press the share button and copy that exact link. Now on our poster page, we're gonna press the add block button and type in SoundCloud and select the first option. Now paste that URL and press embed. And boom, just like that, we've now embedded our song from SoundCloud in WordPress. If we wanna get a better look, we could press preview and open that in a new tab. Scroll down and there it is. And uh, I would play it, but of course, copyright. So that was just a single track. If we want, I could take an entire artist and actually just embed that by posting the link here, pressing embed, and there we go. It's gonna show all of his latest tracks, show his followers, the follow button, all within one URL. If we want to take a playlist, we could just copy that link, press the pencil icon, change it, and there we go. That is the playlist. If we want to take an entire album, we could just copy that link, paste it in here, press embed, and there we go. The entire album is now embedded, ready for everyone to listen to it. If for some reason you have an error, like let's say for instance, I mess up this link, it'll say, sorry, this content cannot be embedded. That means either you copied the link wrong, the link is not public, or for whatever reason, SoundCloud is just having issues. But more often than not, you probably copied the wrong link. So just double check. If we, if we press on the block, we'll see a toolbar appear, which allows us to transform it to a paragraph, columns, or group. We have drag and move tools, alignment tools, and again, the pencil icon lets us change the link. And then we have the three dots that opens up even more settings that let us copy, duplicate, insert before and after, move to, edit as HTML, add to reusable blocks, group, or remove block. That's not it though. If we hit the settings icon here at the top right, we'll see even more options like media settings. If you toggle on resize for smaller devices in the media settings section, the embed block will automatically resize depending on the size of the screen. This is especially important for people viewing your content on a mobile device. So it's a good idea to enable this option. In the advanced section, you could add a CSS block to this block, which means you can customize and style the block however you would like. That's pretty much all there is to the SoundCloud embed block. We also are covering Flickr and YouTube and Vimeo and all other blocks, like even Spotify. So go check out our other videos. We're also covering WordPress blocks in general. So if you're interested, we have that. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.